Hello and welcome to our Tractures interview series, where we discuss individual tracks of the 35th ACM Hypertext 2024 conference. I am Mariusz Pisarski, the general chair of the conference, and my guest today is Dr. Alessandro Adamo from Biblioteca Herziana in Rome. Could you tell us a bit more about the scope and the context of the track? Hello, Mariusz. Thank you for having me in this edition of the conference. In this track, we would like contributors to focus on the notion of hyperlink as a way of not only connecting content items to one another, but also as a way of connecting practitioners and making the most of that relationship for the benefit of the community where they belong or of scholars that, that, that study them. Now, today, we tend to think of content creators as a very specific uh, set of categories of actors in the modern web. Yet online communities have adapted their ways of forming upon changes in user interest, obviously, but also in the technologies, both commonplace ones and niche technologies, or in arising opportunities to collaborate or compete. Now, um, think about computer piracy. It is, of course, a delicate matter to discuss today, but it is also the case that members of the early cracking groups and demo scenesters have now aged and move on to other activities, such as promoting new technologies and fostering creative authoring communities. Now, in doing so, either they or scholars studying their phenomenology are reflecting on how those vibrant communities have evolved over time, as well as on the ways to preserve decades worth of their fascinating output. Great. So in this track, uh, we have an occasion to hear some reports and reflections on the past from those who uh, participated uh, in the past, in the communities, and uh, who were hyperlinks or hyperlinking themselves when creating and fostering these uh, communities. Uh, what would be the examples of submissions in this case, where we uh, actually addressing the call not only for uh, scholars and researchers active on universities, but also to uh, practitioners uh, who we want to reflect uh, on uh, what has happened uh, 20, 30 years ago. That is correct. We would like our contributors to reflect on what makes it possible for dedicated communities to get together, but also for their dynamics to be studied. Uh, for example, how did we go from crack throws in pirated software all the way to modern art that is born digital today? What remains today of creative practices established in the vernacular web, uh, like GeoCities, MySpace, Usenet, or what have you? How has the creep creepypasta phenomenon influenced contemporary readership? And how can we represent tech demos as publishable and citable scholarly objects? W or even more, what relationships emerge from the interactions of retro computing or retro gaming communities and what impact do they have on the rise of non-conventional hardware and software, such as, say, communication protocols that live alongside the World Wide Web? Uh, why, for example, is the gopher is the gopher site count on the rise today? Uh, thinking about these and many more uh, of these phenomena is uh, the kind of reflection we will welcome in our in our track. Especially that today we are witnessing something that's uh, already been called a, a collapse of social net networks and platforms uh, prepared and being in use uh, in, in a massive way, but uh, looks like uh, with the demise of Twitter and now uh, some people saying also slowly demise of Facebook, uh, that reflection on, on the uh, communities uh, that were working and uh, active in the past on their own platforms and their re-emerging platforms is uh, really, really uh, welcome. What would be the best uh, submission uh, format uh, or submission um, subject uh, that you would uh, value highly? Well, we have formed a program committee of diverse backgrounds, owing to the great variety of topics in this track, uh, but also to variable expertise. This track welcomes innovation contributions that are thoroughly evaluated, yes, whether they consist of studies or even running systems that show a deep understanding of the connected communities to which they cater. We also welcome theoretical and position papers that are robustly argumented and possibly even provocative in this regard. 
On our conference, we also have the industry and practitioner uh, track where creators of hypertext systems and interactive digital narratives are invited to uh, present their current projects. Uh, the works and communities that these authors come from uh, may align with our communities of digital practices track. So it would be great to draw a border between these two. Uh, what are, from your uh, own point of view, major differences between this, uh, this track and the practitioner's track? Well, we have put a lot of thoughts about giving equal visibility to different forms of practice in this conference. And what is unique to the communities of the digital practices track is that contributions are based on a reflection or thorough understanding of how 30 years worth of networking phenomena are shaping the web interactions old and new. So a typical example can be found in the retro computing and retro gaming. Uh, the practitioner track will be suitable for words concerning, for example, hypermedia-based interaction uh, in contemporary games. However, reflecting about how retro communities have been interacting with one another might bring to the surface knowledge of how their fighting ancient ideological battles is manifested as a reluctance, for example, to accept communication in the modern web. And this partly justifies the rise of communication protocols like Spartan or Gemini that are underground com protocols uh, parallel to the uh, HTTP web. So too, interactive, interactive fiction, so too, interactive fiction may be a novel manifestation or a critique of the early interactive fiction products and communities. In this latter case, then your contribution is most welcome in this track. Thank you very much for this clarification. Uh, I, I think um, the, the next uh, the, in the next couple of interviews, we will also have the practitioner track uh, structures who will also uh, draw this uh, line from their point of view, uh, but it already uh, it's clear for us what we are looking for in this track. Thank you very much, Alessandro. Thank you, Marius.